On this episode of Road Dirt, we play around with the 2022 Honda CB1000R. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and this is the 2022 Honda CB1000R. It is, uh, it's like the top of the line of their CB line of bikes. They call this line the uh, Neo Sports Cafe, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's one of three. This is the Premier Edition. It is the 1000 Black Edition. They've also got a CB650R, and they've got a CB300R as well, and um, this bike I'm not sure what they really mean by Neo Sports Cafe, um, but to me it's a full-on, just ready to throttle, naked sport bike. Uh, the power plant in it is their 998cc um, inline four, same power plant, just tuned a little bit differently that they put in the CBR1000R, and um, it's tuned a bit more for mid-range, and you can really feel that when you get on it, especially up around 6,500 RPM up to about um, 7,000. Man, there's just an extra punch once you, once you get in there and uh, once you get into that, that meat of the, rev, of the rev range. And the bike is just, with this more upright riding position, um, you're not, you don't have these rear set, you know, setback pegs as much. So it's a bit of a more comfortable rider triangle. And uh, with this higher bar, man, you can just thrash the heck out of this motorcycle. It is super fun. Uh, in corner carving and in the hill country, and um, and yet it's it's very manageable. Um, it's very easy to maneuver around in um, you know more urban settings and traffic areas, and uh, they've really got a very nice package with this. Uh, multiple ride modes. We'll talk a lot about that. Uh, a quick shifter with a slip assist clutch, and um, very not super smooth like other ones we've tested but very solid very honda solid up and down through the gears it uh, works like clockwork and a fantastic package so let's take a ride on this thing and we'll evaluate it and comment on it as we ride i love this exhaust note man it sounds like an aftermarket header man it's incredible how this thing sounds like having a Two Brothers or an Akropovich on here or something. It's a stock pipe. Really sounds good. Bike leans great. It's easy to flick it from side to side, toss it through corners, back and forth. And uh, man, fun bike to ride. Easy to shift up and down through the gears. The quick shifter with the slip assist clutch. I mean, it's not butter, butter smooth like others, you know, more expensive bikes we've ridden that, uh, that have had them, but it's solid, man. It just shifts great up and down through the gears. And uh, it's a great hooligan bike. It's fun just to toss this thing back and forth, pop up and down through the gears without using the clutch. Definite hoot to ride for sure. One of the things I like about the ride modes, just like on the Honda Rebel 1100 DCT, in user mode you can set up, uh, kind of con configure it how you want. You can set it up to different levels of engine braking, torque control, um, throttle response. So I kind of created my own profile. And I've pretty much ridden exclusively in that. I, I love the way it's set up now. The thing about the acceleration on this bike that's really cool too, you get up around 6,000 RPM, and man, it's like an extra punch of power. Can't really do it right here, but uh, man, it gets punchy in each gear from 6,000 on up. It's, uh, it's like another gear while you're in that gear. Good solid punch of power. And the braking is great. Um, you know, they're not Brembo's, but they are fine braking got four different ride modes with the Honda CB1000R. Got standard mode, rain mode, user mode, which is customizable, and sport mode. And also by toggling through the menu, you can have other different 
display information at the bottom of the screen as well. Um, all kinds of customizable options for you. got Phil on the CB1000R for a bit. Said he felt like a bit of a monkey on a mini bike because he's a rather large individual, but he said it was a comfortable ride. He liked the rider triangle. It was very upright and comfortable to him. Um, I found the seat kind of stiff, but he felt real comfortable in it. He enjoyed it. He's more of a cruiser and tourer guy, but uh, said, man, it's a fun little bike. Definite hooligan bike. So there you have it, the 2022 Honda CB1000R. You can get it in any color you want, as long as it's black. We've had this bike for a little over a month and have thoroughly enjoyed it. You talk about a fantastic, do-everything, hooligan-style motorcycle, naked sport bike that is both fun and affordable. Honda has it in the uh, CB1000R. They've actually got two others in this line as well, in the CB line. Um, it's the 650R. And, uh, and the 300R as well. And um, the CB line goes back decades, man. It goes back to the late 1960s. And this is just the latest iteration of a long heritage of the CB series that really radically transformed motorcycling. And um, if you like naked sport bikes like I do, more upright riding position, but all the fun, all the power, all the handling of a, of a sport bike, this might be the bike for you in an affordable package as well. I tell you, everything from you know, the ease of use with it, uh, the different ride modes and navigating the, uh, you know, the, the, the display uh, to the, uh, uh, the slipper clutch and the uh, quick shifter, um, all of it just bulletproof Honda reliability and uh, a whole lot of fun as well. It's been great. I'm about 5'8", you know, 150 or so pounds. Phil and Ted are about six foot. You know, and um, all three of us really enjoyed the rider triangle of it and how quick and nimble the bike was and uh, very much enjoyed this motorcycle. We think you will too. So check one out at the Honda dealership nearest you. You can check them out online as well. Check out our article on it. We wrote a whole story on it. Well, with a lot more photos, we get into the weeds of some of the details of the bike, the specs, the dimensions, the performance numbers, things like that. You can find all that on roaddirt.tv. And we'll put a link in the description as well so you can check that out there. While you're here, give us a like, give us a comment. Let's talk with you a little bit. Um, subscribe to us if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you get notifications about future, future um, stories and videos that we'll put out. Find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find us at Road Dirt TV. We've got a Spotify music channel also, Road Dirt Classics. We're old guys. We like rock music from the 60s, 70s, 80s, early 90s. So uh, it's about 25 hours worth of, of music out there. That's Road Dirt Classics. And, um, and of course, subscribe to RoadDirt.tv, our online motorcycle magazine for all the latest and greatest in the world of motorcycling. So we, um, we appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this is Rob with Road Dirt, Ride Life. <laughs>